We're ready to start. So this is great. We've got a lot of, we've got Zendaya from Oklahoma. Welcome to New Mexico. Holly Daisy from San Jacinto, Houston Council. Awesome. Welcome to New Mexico. We've got Malaya from New Mexico, Maya from Las Lunas, Yena from Albuquerque, Caitlin from Gallup, Leah Santa Rosa, Emma Albuquerque. Awesome. Welcome, ladies. If you are just joining us, we are asking that you go into the chat and put your first name and your location. Nisha from Reading, Pennsylvania, Ali from Missouri. This is great. All of you out-of-staters, welcome to New Mexico. Welcome to Girl Scouts of New Mexico Trails World Environment Day. We appreciate you coming out and celebrating with us. We will be getting started shortly. We're still letting some people into the program, but we will get started here shortly. And again, if you are just ch uh, chiming in, we ask that you put in the chat box of your first name and where you're from. We have Ying from Queens, New York, Viola from Brooklyn, Sophia from Westlake, Ohio, Chloe from Albuquerque. This is great. Okay, we're at about five minutes after. We're gonna get going. Um, I just want to, um, again, just let you all know to just put your name and location into the chat box. As we go forward, if you should have any questions through the presentation, if you can put your questions in the chat box, um, there will be some opportunities for girls to actually speak. So if you um, are, wanna speak, we're gonna ask that you raise your hand or you can put your, you raise your hand in the um, reactions um, part of the venue. And we will unmute you so that you can either ask your question or respond to any of the activities that will be going on. So I just wanna say that I am Vanessa Wheeler. I'm the Senior Program Manager for Girl Scouts of New Mexico Trails. And I just wanna welcome all of you this morning for coming. Um, to get started, I am going to Get started by introducing our director of program, um, Cecilia Chavez, and she will go on um, to continue to uh, introduce the rest of our team. So again, welcome. Cecilia, all yours. Thank you, Vanessa. Good morning, everybody. I bet many of you didn't even know that this committee existed right here in Albuquerque. Um, our committee is called the Global Action Volunteers Committee, and there are 36 councils across the country that participate in this global effort. So let me start with this presentation. We have some goals and a purpose as a global action committee. Um, it's to develop global programming and also to mainstream our existing programs. And what that means is any of the programs that we do at our councils, we are making sure that they have a global component. In other words, that they reach out to the rest of the world in some way. We connect our girls to the rest of the world in some way. Our second purpose is to integrate and share our global story. And this is the first part of our story that we're beginning to embark on. Our committee has only been in place for about six months, and this is our very first effort. So we're excited today. And then the third piece is to build a strong global infrastructure. I don't know how many of you know, but pretty soon we're going to be embarking on this 5 million trees that we want to plant in the next five years as Girl Scouts. So that might include a global function to it. So just be on the lookout for that. Our, first, our very first virtual program that we're delivering is this program today. So you are our audience and we'd love to get your feedback. So at the end of our presentation, we are going to ask you some questions about what you thought of our session. 
Let me introduce our global members. So as I introduce each global team member, they will raise their hand just like I am, and you will know who they are. So our very first member is Kylie Gutierrez, and she is one of our global action team members. And her focus in, in our world environment and improving it is composting. So wave to everybody, Kylie. There you go. Our next member is Lila Leslie, and she's also a Global Action Team member, and her focus in our world environment is recycling. And there's Lila waving to you. And, if, and all of our names have G-A-T in front of them. That's to signify that we're on the team. Kristen Kelly, she is also a Global Action Team member with her daughter. Brenna, and she focuses on zero escaping. She loves to do that in her own yard for two reasons. One, to preserve water because water is very scarce here in the, in the Southwest, but also to accommodate our, our desert landscape. So we're really excited to learn more about that. Beth Berenger couldn't join us today, but she's also one of these team members and she enjoys composting as well. Vanessa Wheeler, who started the session and welcomed everybody, is also one of our Global Action Team members and she is our staff support and she is a master gardener, which is wonderful to learn more about. Nancy Wiggins is my co-chair of this committee and she's been extremely instrumental in getting this project off the ground. She has led this subcommittee and she will be speaking to most of the presentation today. And then myself, Cecilia, which um, Vanessa already introduced. I am just um, a code member here. Please raise your hand if you have joined us today and you are on the Global Action Committee. I know that I saw Yena and I know that I might have seen another committee member join us. Okay. So this is our agenda. We started with Vanessa giving us an overview. I just introduced our team and welcomed everybody. Kristen will lead us through the promise and law. Lila will do our icebreaker. Kylie will do our scavenger hunt. Nancy will cover our videos, recycling and planting. And then Lila and Kylie are our key singers for I Love the Mountain song. And Nancy will close it out for today. So we always start our sessions with session norms, and this is if everybody can follow these norms, we're gonna have a wonderful session. So participants are expected to adhere to these norms. As Girl Scouts, we know it's important to represent the Girl Scout promise in law and all that we do. Disrespectful or disruptive participants will be asked to leave the meeting. So please utilize the chat box respectfully However, we know this isn't going to happen because you're awesome Girl Scouts. So have fun and enjoy this presentation. Take it away, Kristen. Good morning. My name is Kristen and I live in Albuquerque and I have been an adult Girl Scout or I, I'm an adult and I've been a Girl Scout for 21 years since I was in first grade. Is anybody a first grader out there? If you will raise your right hand, we'll say the promise and the law together. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. And now the law, I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do. And to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. 
And now I'd like to introduce Lila to do our icebreaker. Hey, I'm Lila. I'm a, I'm going to be an ambassador next year. And my favorite thing to do outside is to go camping so I can make some s'mores. So what's, what's your guys' favorite thing to do outside in nature? Type it in the chat box. <laughs> So someone is scribbling on our slides. Thank you. So Lila, do you want to unmute and call out some of the people that are answering your question? Do you see them in the chat box? Um, how about Sophia? Or If you can't see him, I can um, talk about Lila. Yeah, you can do you it. can see him. Because we've got Viola, um, who explores the woods. Jordan ex uh, makes s'mores and watches the leaves blow. Maya likes to swim in lakes, pools, oceans, anywhere sanitary. Um, there's a lot of camping and hiking. Allie find bugs like roly polies. Imani, plant things with my grandma and camping. There's more camping. Ying, hiking to enjoy waterfalls. Can't wait to learn more about solar cooking and cooking outdoors safely. Yena, hiking, hiking with my family and friends and listening to the sounds of nature. Sophia likes roasting s'mores. Caitlin likes to explore. Nisha, everything. Leah, camping. Kylie likes to watch in walk in nature. Malaya likes everything. Uh, Kristen and Brennan like to splash in the waves of the ocean when they visit the coast. Sophie, nature uh, is photography. She likes to do photography. Angelica, camping, and some more solar cooking. So great responses, lady. Thank you. Oh, play with tadpole tadpoles. And also <laughs> likes to run around. Awesome. Great answers. And now we'll go ahead and start our scavenger hunt and Kylie will lead us through that. Hi guys, I'm Kylie. I am an ambassador. I've been with the Global Action Committee for six months now. And so let's get this scavenger hunt started. So our first item on the list is something that you can recycle. I brought two examples of things that you can recycle. My family um, recycles. I We have so much recycling, it's kind of crazy. But the first thing I brought is this. This is a paper towel roll. This is cardboard. This is something that is commonly recycled. And then I also have an example. This is a plastic bottle container, which is also recyclable. I think two of the most recognizable recyclable items are plastics and paper. Um, so does your family recycle or did you bring anything that you can recycle that you'd like to show? I see a lot of plastic bottles. I see a can, paper towel rolls. Those are all really good 
things that you can recycle. Okay, what is the next item on our list? I even saw an egg carton. Did you guys see that egg carton? That was pretty cool. Yeah, egg cartons are also reusable. So fruit or vegetable. So I brought with me an orange. This is my absolute favorite fruit. I eat like four oranges a day, which is kind of concerning, but I absolutely love fruits. This is your favorite fruit. Type it in the chat box so we can see what you like. Pears? I don't really eat pears, but for they're good. Avocado, apples, cucumbers, peaches, strawberries are good, I agree. All fruit, bananas, peaches, cantaloupe, watermelon, raspberries, mangoes, pineapples, these are all really good. I love fruit, so honestly, I will eat anything. Artichokes, okay, I've never had artichokes before. All right, so the third thing on our list is a plant or something growing. So I brought this with me. I love plants. I have a lot in my room. I actually planted this in a mug that we weren't using, which is something that you can reuse, which is later on our list. But I have this. So did anybody else bring a plant with them or something that it's growing? I see a bunch of succulents. Oh, a potato. Cool. <laughs> Those are all awesome plants. Okay, what is the next item on our list? I think you're on mute, Cecilia. <laughs> So I was asking Caitlin what plant she was holding up because she looked really proud of it. Looked like something she might have planted herself. So can you <laughs> unmute yourself, Caitlin, and tell us about your plant? Um, I've been growing a bamboo, and I also have a garden in the backyard that we're growing carrots, radishes, bell peppers, tomatoes, pumpkin. And yeah, lots more stuff growing. Wonderful. Okay, so something that you can reuse. So I thought this one was kind of tricky, but I brought this with me. This is a reusable coffee mug. So this is multiple time use. So usually when you go to a coffee shop or something, you get a paper or plastic cup that you can really only use once. But by buying one of these, you can bring it to the coffee shop and you can have them refill it and you can use it a bunch of times. So did anybody else have anything that they brought with them that they can reuse or anything that you can reuse and you don't have it with you, you can type it into the chat box. So I see um, a bunch of reusable mugs. I saw earbuds, I think. I think Sophia C had earbuds, which are also really good for reusable. Water bottles, plastic water bottles are really good to be reused instead of using one-time use plastic. I actually have a water bottle with me today as well. Here's my water bottle. I use this almost every day. Malia, it looks like you were holding something up for us. What is that? I just unmuted you. Go ahead and talk to us. Tell us what you held up. All right, maybe you're just a little shy this morning. Ah, I'm sorry, can you say that again? Do you mean me? Yes. Oh, I thought you were talking about the other person. Okay. <laughs> I just had a water bottle. Oh, okay. Good. All right, so there's... Here. 
Okay, so there is one more item on our list, and that is something you cannot reuse. So I thought this one was also kind of tricky, but I brought with me styrofoam. Um, styrofoam is something that a lot of people don't think is not reusable, but a lot of the time styrofoam can't be recycled and it ends up going into um, waste facilities. So I brought styrofoam with me. This is commonly used in packaging, which is uh, which we get a lot now. I see a paper plate, a napkin, a pen. All great examples of things that can't be reused. A light bulb, that is good, that is good. Can you talk, Angelica, can you talk a little bit more about how a light bulb isn't reusable? Okay. <laughs> uh, she's shy. You want to tell mom? Why can't you use a light bulb? <laughs> uh, she's being shy right now. Okay. That is a really good example of something that can't be reused, though. Okay, it's okay if you don't want to talk, it's all right. Okay, so that is everything on our scavenger hunt list. I saw a lot of really great examples and things that you guys brought. So next we have Nancy, who is going to show you guys some videos of her Girl Scouts going and talking about gardening. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's great to see everybody here. I see that we have 33 people on our conference today, so our program, so that's really cool. We have a couple of videos we want to show today. Uh, first, I want to tell a little about myself. Um, I am here in Albuquerque. I've been a Girl Scout for 43 years. I know that's a long time. And um, I love solar cooking. I do a lot of solar cooking, and it's really good for uh, to do in the desert because we get a lot of sun days. So um, that's been a passion of mine for a number of years. Uh, so let's go on to these videos. Uh, this is the South Valley Girl Scout uh, Troop of 7080. And this is Chloe, she's a daisy. And she did a couple of videos for us for World Environment Day about planting plants. Uh, this year, the theme for World Environment Day is celebrate diversity. There are a lot of different kinds of plants and she's going to tell you about some of them and about planting some of them. So um, let's show the first video of Chloe. And you, I think Chloe might be with us. If she's with us, please raise your hand so everybody can give you a shout out, Chloe. Is Chloe here? Yes, let's give her oh. a shout out. Yay, Chloe. Glad that you can visit with us today. Thank you for joining us. All nice right. See you, Chloe. So here's Chloe. Today we're planting, and we use see-through cups so you can see the roots when they're growing. And we put holes in the bottom so all the water won't stay inside of the cup. So we put holes on the bottom so the water can go through. We went ahead and put some water inside of the cup. So I see, like this cup is going to be cucumber. This cup. Is this one is going to be bell pepper. I have two cucumber seeds. I'm going to plant in this one. I'm going to put two holes with a finger like this. And then I put the seeds inside of them. And then I'll cover them up. And then you got to wait for them to grow. OK, and let's go on to the second video. She's going to show us her garden. All these plants were um, planted by seed, and most of them are, are already in the ground. But only a few of them aren't ready to go in the ground yet. So far, we have only three of them that are ready to go in the ground. And then we have two potatoes. And we have cantaloupe that's not ready to go in the ground yet. <laughs> Those are carrots. Carrots, not ready to go in the ground yet. And spinach. Well, all the rats are in the ground except for these. 
Now we just wait for them to grow. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, thank you, Chloe. Um, great videos. And how many of you have gardens of your own at home? Raise your hand. Uh, Tira, can you unmute yourself and tell us uh, what you have in your garden? I think your name is Tira. Tiama? I'm going to unmute you and, well, you'll have to unmute yourself. Yes, there you are. Can you tell us what's in your garden? In my garden, I have peppers, tomatoes, lavender, herbs, and flowers. Oh, great. I love lavender. Nice. Anybody else have a garden? Um... I see Girl Scout, and that's all I can see on your name. Girl Scout Riley. Girl Scout Riley. Where are you from? And tell us about your garden. Um, so I live in Belen, which is now Real Communities, actually. And I have a garden. It has um, the little peppers, and they're orange. And then we're growing... Um, sunflowers and spider plants. Oh, great. And for those of you that don't do not know, Belen is in New Mexico, just outside of Albuquerque. Nice rural area. Great. Uh, Sophie, you had your hand up. Could you unmute yourself and tell us where you're from and what kind of garden you have? Uh, I'm from Arkansas and we mostly have vegetables like tomatoes and stuff, but we ha also have some flowers like daisies. Very nice. And you get a lot more rain than we get. So you probably have a really nice big garden, huh? Okay. Um, we're going to go on to some slides um, that talk about gardening tips. And we're going to ask for some input um, a little later about the slides too. So um, here we go. Here are some gardening tips. Here we have somebody uh, took part of a cantaloupe and the seeds are still on there and just planted that whole rind with the seeds into the ground. And let's see what it came up with. There it's planted and here we have little seedlings that are coming up. So that's an easy way to plant something. Some of you may have a garden, some may some of you may not have room for a garden, but you can have a patio garden with pots. And um, if you do have room, this is a good thing to do and they come up very quickly. The next two slides are about a compost pile. Uh, do any of you have compost piles? Okay, I see a few hands up, good. Uh, this one is one uh, from one of our troop uh, leaders houses. And she has a rabbit that she keeps over her compost pile because rabbit manure is very good for plants. Um, it's a good fertilizer, natural fertilizer. Okay, do any of you have rabbits that you use for that purpose? I'm looking to see if I, I see anybody's hands up. I don't see anybody so far. Okay, well, it's a good, uh, it's a good fertilizer, like I said. And if you like rabbits, it's a good thing to do. Okay. Next slide. Nancy, in the chat, it says that Malaya has horses that she uses for compost. Oh, very good. Good. Natural fertilizer, it's nice. And um, it's a good way to reuse something. <laughs> okay, so here we have some uh, containers that you can use to uh, start seedlings in. Uh, the first one on the left, is probably not the best kind to use. We want to give you an example of probably what won't work well. And that's a glass jar. Um, it doesn't drain in the bottom and it's kind of tall to start seedlings in. Plus it might break. So for planting seedlings uh, for a garden, that's probably not a good use, but we do have some good uses for glass jars later on. But let's go on to the other two. Those are just items that are found around the house that you can plant seedlings in. You can start your seedlings in before you plant them in your garden. 
Uh, we have, those are just little plastic containers. Um, and then when you get done with them, you can also rinse them and recycle them. So you're using those twice and that's really good for the environment. Okay, next slide. It looks like Sophie also said that we have your usual compost bin with earthworms in it. Ooh, who likes earthworms? <laughs> yes. Um, and who was that again, um, Cecilia? Sophie. Sophie. Can we unmute you and can you tell us what the worms do? Well, the, the worms eat any food waste, like banana peels and stuff, and produce manure that helps the plants grow. Okay, and they're also good for aerating things, um, because they dig and make little tunnels and it aerates. So that's really good for it too. Thanks, Sophie. Okay, this is an ice cream cone. And these are really cool. You can start seedlings in an ice cream cone, and then you can just plant the whole thing in the ground. So um, they're really a fun way to start seedlings. Have ever any of you ever done that before? Okay, if you haven't, you might want to try it. It's really cool. Okay, next slide. I don't think I could do that, Nancy. I'd be too tempted to eat the ice cream cone. <laughs> it wouldn't make it to the garden. Huh? I wouldn't make it to that process. Okay, so if you don't have a garden, that's okay. You can still grow some items. On the left, we have a pot, and this is from my patio, and I have strawberry plants in there, and there's five or six strawberry plants in there, and they're starting to ripen now. So that's a good way to have a garden, even if you don't have um, a large area in your yard. You can have different pots on your patio or on your balcony, and um, strawberries are really good for that because they don't take up a whole lot of room. Uh, the next slide, I reused a coffee mug to start some seedlings. So um, if you have a lot of coffee mugs laying around, I'm a former teacher, so I have a lot and I hate to get rid of them. So it's a good way to use, reuse the, your coffee mugs. Our next slide is a plastic egg carton. So I'm starting lettuce in it. Um, I won't leave it in there because it's not uh, too deep uh, and it's too shallow just for the roots to start, but I can start plants in there. Uh, but that's a good way to reuse that. Um, there I have my Starbucks glass jar and we said that you can use glass for some things and I'm starting uh, a new vine plant in there. So that's kind of nice because it's decorative so I can set it around and it and it looks kind of cute. Uh, the next two are um, some lima bean plants that I'm starting in a takeout food container. And it's really cool because it makes like a mini greenhouse. And I started lima beans in there and you can see the lima beans on the right. They just take a few days to germinate. So if you want to grow something that grows very quickly and you can see fast results. Um, lima beans uh, are good for that. If you girls have any questions for Nancy, just raise your hand like this and we can stop and answer those. Yes, Tierna. You have a question? Um. My question was, how can a container be, but be a little, be a little greenhouse, just like the lima beans? How can it be like a greenhouse? Uh -huh. Because when you close it up, the moisture stays in there and the sun still comes through and you really don't, I didn't water those at all. Um, the moisture stayed in there because of the sun rays coming down and it heats it up and um, it grows very well in there. That's a great question. Yeah, that is. Um, I also have another question. Okay, go ahead. We have a greenhouse, but we still need to water. 
because the we have a greenhouse, but it could still get dehydrated. All the plants couldn't, because whenever we wake up and we water the plants from the other day, it's dry. Yes, and if you have some, a larger container, this is just small, so that's why you don't really have to water this one. If it was larger, like a regular big greenhouse, mm -hmm. then um, you would um, you would need to water. And can I ask whoever's drawing on the slides to please not do that because we can't really see some of the slides. Okay, let's make sure that we're uh, following our Girl Scout rules and being considerate towards others. Appreciate that, thanks. Um, so does anybody else have any questions? Tierna, thank you very much for those questions. Vanessa, do you see anybody else's hand up? I can't see the whole screen. No. Okay, great. Okay, let's move on with our slideshow. We just do have a chat where Ali says we have lettuce, tomatoes, okra, collard greens, and jalapeno peppers. Oh, yum. Yeah, that sounds yummy. That sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Okay, we talked about um, using a glass jar and to start an herb garden, you can do that. A glass jar is good for that because you can set those inside on your windowsill. And this is just a mason jar. Uh, that I reused. You can buy kits that sell these and they're like 25 or $30, but I just got one of my old mason jars that I had at home and put some soil in there and I'm growing chives in there for my kitchen. Uh, the next two slides are just an old colander that I had that I didn't need anymore. So I thought I'll start some plants in there. So I've started some fireweed flowers in there and we'll see how those turn out. But that's what they look like when I first planted them. So I was able to reuse my old colander that way. And I also have started in another little greenhouse type uh, container. Uh, this is a salad takeout container and it was pretty big. And so I put some flower seeds in there and then the last one is a uh, milk carton. And what I've done there is I have just cut the milk carton apart. And make sure if you do this, you have an adult help you. Okay, so uh, you have to use a sharp object to do that. So make sure an adult helps you, but you can take the milk carton and reuse it that way and grow some seedlings in there to plant in your garden later when they get bigger. And then when you get done reusing it, you can recycle it also. So um, it doesn't uh, end up in the landfill. We call that dual purpose. Yes. Okay, next slide. And this is, these are just some things that I have uh, ready to plant for my garden. I use natural organic soil. Um, I have a couple of fertilizers there. I have a trowel. Uh, that's that metal thing to help plant in my garden. And I got some new gardening gloves this year, so I was excited because they're kind of pretty. Uh, rocks are nice in the bottom of something that you're planting so um, it can help drain the soil. And then I have some different seed packets that I have so I can uh, plant seeds uh, and have them grow into plants. Okay, so does anybody else have any questions about planting or do you want to make a comment about your garden? You're welcome to do that at this time. Tierna, there, I see your hand up. <laughs> Gardens are really useful to the earth because now there's a lot of technology. It's, there's less of the earth so that's why we we have gardens so we can plant so we can have plants and food and and we get air. Yes, you know plants are so good for keeping our air clean. And so if you have a lot of plants in your house, that's a really good thing too. It does help keep the air clean. It gives us food. Um, there's a lot of good reasons to have plants. And Sophie, 
Can you talk to us about your plant rotation? I see uh, you have a note in the chat room. Uh, we use crop rotation to not deplete the soil of nutrients. Like if we use a type of another plant like cucumbers, we usually use something like a, a plant that helps help that doesn't deplete as much of the nutrients to so we can use it again in the fall. Very good, yeah, because certain plants uh, pull out certain minerals from the soil. So if you rotate your crops or your plants, if you have a larger garden, um, rather than just a patio garden, um, that's really helpful for the soil too. So great point, Sophie. Thank you for bringing that up. Anybody else have anything they wanna share? I was gonna ask, have you guys ever thought that whether we're in the United States or anywhere else in the world, we all get our food, our plant food from seeds and dirt and sun and water. Like we all have the same way to get our food, which is kind of interesting. It connects us all together around the world. Great point, Kristen. I appreciate you bringing that up. Are there any other containers that you can think of that you've planted seedlings in to start, start your plants that we didn't show today? Tierna, yes. We did, I don't, I don't, I don't want to. We used a egg cartons for just our seedlings. Good, yes, and I showed um, a plastic egg carton, but they have the cardboard ones too, right? Yeah, so there's, you can use either kind, that's great. Um, it, anybody it else, might... somebody said toilet paper rolls. I've never tried that, but that might, could work. Maybe that's something I can try. It looks like Viola was trying to show us something. Do you want to show us your plant, Viola? And I will unmute you. Tell us about it. This, this is a zucchini plant. We, it's in a plastic cup right now. Very nice. That is so nice. Also, and I've used, and I, and I've also made it with yogurt cups and sometimes mac and cheese cups. Ooh, mac and cheese cups. Now you're making me hungry. <laughs> That's, those are very good ways to start your plants. And Allie wanted to share with us too. So Allie, can you unmute yourself and tell us about your garden? Um, okay, so... Um, and where do you live, Allie? Um, I'm in Missouri. Oh, great. What part of Missouri? I'm from Missouri originally. Uh, I'm from, I'm from the middle of Missouri. Okay. <laughs> I'm outside of St. Louis. Oh, okay. I was down from Springfield. So let's see your garden. You walked out there and let's see what you have. So we have, we have jalapenos in the pot. Um, and in this uh, baby swimming pool, we have lettuce and oak in college, I think. The okra didn't make it, but um, and then over here in the sea bucket, old sea bucket, we have um, our tomato plants. And actually, um, actually yesterday, I noticed that uh, this tomato plant is bearing tomatoes. Oh, great. Very nice. So you have a container garden, which Thank you so much for sharing that uh, with us because we do have a lot of people that don't have room for a big garden. So yours is a perfect example of having um, a garden in pots. So thank you so much, Allie. And enjoy all the rain you've been getting because we don't get much down here in New yeah. Mexico. <laughs> Today it is 92 degrees, I think. Um, and I had a deal with my parents that if they got to 90 degrees, I could play outside in the hose. 
Oh, nice, nice. Well, I hope you get to do that. <laughs> yeah, I made a deal with them. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing. Anybody else have I already have my skin suit on. <laughs> Anybody else have anything they want to share? Okay, if not, we're going to go on to the next part of our program. And um, hey, Nancy, Nancy, yes. there is there is somebody that raised her hand. She's outside, but I don't know her name. I think Chloe, she's is that you? Yes, yeah. Chloe, our Girl Scout that was on oh. the video. Great, go ahead, Chloe. Oh my gosh, from the video to the size of those plants now. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Can you show us your plants one more time? Mm -hmm. And I have some corn. Wow, that's really shot up. Wow, thank you so much for sharing and thank you so much for helping our environment by growing all those plants. And I know you're gonna enjoy the food you get from those too. Thanks, Chloe. Okay, um, we're gonna go on to the next portion of our program and we are going to have a song. And Lila and Kylie are going to lead us in that song. And uh, we're gonna have everybody muted except for them, but please sing along at home. Um, it's a really fun song and the words are gonna be on the screen. So go ahead and take it away, Lila and Kylie. Okay, let's get this party started. <laughs> I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers. I love the dust. I love the sunny side. When all the lights are low. Boom biada 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 so now, does everybody want to sing with them? If you guys want to unmute yourselves, if we sound Thank terrible, you. it's okay. Let's do this <laughs> one more time. Okay? One, two, three, lead us again, Kylie and Lila. All right. Everybody. I love I love I love the I that was good. I think we did pretty great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job, everybody. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we are getting ready to um, close our event. And like we said, this is the first program we delivered. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Uh, we are having another presentation on International Day of the Girl, where we're going to be highlighting important women leaders, past and present. That will be in October. And if you'd like to contribute to this event, we do have a couple email addresses there um, for Cecilia here at our council and for myself. We are going to have a survey uh, sent out to you all. So please fill out the survey about our event today because we're really interested in what we can do differently and um, our successes and just your input on everything. And I do wanna let you know that we are doing a presentation, Cecilia and I are doing a presentation to GSUSA, um, the 33 councils that belong to the Global Action Team on Wednesday. And so we're gonna include some of our screenshots of you so from today. So I think that's really exciting. Um, are there any questions before uh, we go ahead and close for today? Any last questions? 
Okay, I'm not seeing anybody come up in the chat room. I'm not seeing any hands. Thank you so much for joining us. And it was so cool that there were people from all over the country here today. That was just awesome. We really enjoyed putting this presentation on for you. So you all go out, enjoy the outdoors today for World Environment Day, and we'll see you next time. Thank Bye -bye, you. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.